Hi there, this is Mark Icero, and this is Article Club, an experiment in community reading where we read and annotate and discuss one great article every month on race, education, or culture, along with the author. This month, we just got started looking at The Mountain by New Yorker writer Andrew Morantz, which tells the story of a young woman named Samantha and how she gets caught up in the alt-right. Some of you out there have already read the article, thank you, and joined this month's discussion, but if you haven't, it is not too late. You can go to articleclub.org and sign up now. If you're a maybe, you might want to listen to article clubber Katie, who has read the article and said that she couldn't put it down. This week, I asked Katie to share some of her first impressions, which you will hear now. Hey, Katie, it's so great that you're on the podcast. Thank you so much for doing it. Thank you for having me. So you've been part of Article Club for a while now, and I think that's really great. But before we get into your first impressions of this article this month, can you just share a little bit more about who you are? My name is Katie, and I was a student of yours back in 2000. We were in a government class, and so we did speeches and had mock congressional hearings and memorized speeches. So it was essentially like debate class. And I currently am a pharmaceutical records person uh, in the Bay Area, and I'm from Fremont, and I still live in Fremont. It's just so funny that you say that you were my student, which I think is (laughs) wonderful. Like, it's it's great that you can claim that. Is there any sort of words of wisdom that you might want to say to other folks who were not my student? Um, You were a good teacher. (laughs) That's the right answer. And I guess it's great because like we're continuing now in not that setting, you know, in a different relationship to be in Article Club. So I really appreciate that. What drew you to Article Club in the first place? Um, I already got your newsletter and it sounded like a really interesting way of doing a deep dive on one article in a month instead of trying to, you know, just gather information from a bunch of articles, which of course has its, its merits, especially like now, right now, everything's crazy and there's so many articles coming out like every day, every hour, but just focusing on one article or one chapter in a book, it's really interesting. And then on top of that, you having the actual authors on to ask them, you know, what drew them to this material or what was their, what was their planning process and things like that is, has been really interesting as well. And it sounds like it's going okay because you are still in it and you have not dropped. So I appreciate you for that as well. Um, (laughs) Yeah, I agree that uh, Article Club is like a a different experience, not for everybody, but like for some people. And so I'm really happy that you're part of the community. So this article this month, The Mountain by Andrew Morantz, um, we won't say too, too much about it because not everybody has read it yet, but you have, right? You finished it? I did. What was your experience? I was glued to my screen. So I I was like, I'm just going to, you know, since you could see on, I read it through your Google Doc, so you could see how far you have to go. I'm like, oh, I have like, you know, I'll just read like 10 pages and then I'll come back to it later on. Um, and then I was like, I'll just read five more pages. I'll just, and then I ended up just reading the whole thing. So like I said in my comment, I, <laughs> I was going to help my husband with dinner and I was like, oh, he's, he's fine. I'll just kind of keep reading this. It says, I can't help you right now. I'm reading this article and it's like, it's really well written. It had me riveted the whole time. It's, you know, of course, the story is like bonkers for most of us. Like, you know, I I felt like it's like I've read things about people who've experienced cults before. Like, to me, it just sounded very much like that. So it's like, oh, my gosh, I've never been in a cult or, or, or any sort of group like that. So I was just reading like, what's going to happen next? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm happy that you were glued to your screen and that it was riveting and Yeah, I had the same thing about Samantha, the main character, Um, what's exactly going to happen to her, but also like, how did she get into this in the first place, meaning the alt right, like this is a person who seemingly was like a normal average person, like we all are, I guess, or we we hope to be like, we're all we all hope to be like a, a normal person. And then all of a sudden, she just gets drawn into the alt right. Like, what were your impressions of her of Samantha? My first kind of major impression and what I took away from it as far as like if I had to put one adjective to her is she lacks self-confidence and that's such a huge barrier for so many reasons like for so many people like it affects people's jobs and relationships and everything 
but oh my gosh, like she was so vulnerable to being recruited to something like this with um, wanting to always please people, not really feeling she was good enough. I, I mean, she's a normal person and she seems to, you know, the background seems like, you know, they're sketching her out to be, she comes from a middle class, average background, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary one way or another. But I think that she's vulnerable with the low self-esteem. Yeah. And did you did you find yourself judgy or judging her a little bit? Or were you like really empathetic? Uh, Kind of both. Like, on one hand, I was like, oh, you could do better than just like waitressing all the time. Not that there's anything wrong with working in a cafe. But it's like, she devoted her whole, all her spare time to this one thing. And I was like, oh, you could do better. You need to go to school. Like, I, I guess that is judging. I was judging her. I was like, you know, you don't fall into this crowd. You know, well, it seems like it seems like you were judging her, but like also rooting for her. Yeah. I mean, in in some ways, like in some paragraphs of the article, I felt like it's a horror film, right? Where you're like, don't go up those stairs. What are you doing? So, yeah, there there was that. I mean, you, in a way, it's judging. But in another way, I'm like, you know, you're you're worth more than than this, like terrible, evil organization, you know? Yeah, I found myself judging uh, in various points. Like, I really wanted her, for example, I really wanted her to go to college. And that's also just me and my bias, just because it was good for me, you know, like, so I did notice getting mad at myself for being too judgy. But I don't know, it, it was just like my experience. Um, okay, so we're going to have this discussion in a couple weeks. Do you have a sense about like, what you want to talk about? Like what questions or topics that you might want to explore? In the discussion, I, I'm not sure. I, I guess, like, is there another reason that people join besides the, you know, being vulnerable? I, I watched some video on, on YouTube, like, kind of explaining how people join these kinds of things. And it seems to always be a, some sort of, like, she, she broke up with her boyfriend, right? So it seems to be some sort of a, uh, you get laid off from your job, you go through a divorce, things like that. There's an event that happens. So is there an event that can change someone? back out of it or is there does there have to be an event maybe it's just all chance and people are bored i don't know why do those questions matter do you think because they matter to me too why why do certain people get into these things and like is it possible to uh, prevent it like why do you feel like that's important to you well i mean you see what's what's happening like the craziness in the world and it seems like People are getting drawn to these types of groups, like fascist groups. Like, it's not just a U.S. thing either. It seems to be the world over. And it's frightening. And I, I, I just want to learn more about the psychology. So, like, maybe there can be people who help prevent others from joining these things and believing the, the bunk. Like, it's just garbage that they're being taught. There has to be a way to prevent people or to, to give people the tools to not be vulnerable to that. Like... You know, is is it critical thinking or what? These are all things I think about all the time, just seeing what's on the news and with everything, you know? I agree. Like, also, as an educator, I want to ask Andrew Morantz, like, what can we do in the classroom to make sure this doesn't happen? Like, if you yeah. if you were able to ask Mr. Morantz a question, because we're going to be talking to him also, do you have any questions for him as a writer or as a reporter? Oh, my main question, is, I hope it's not too general, is, what drew you to cover um, these types of subjects? Because I know he's he's almost an expert in this. Like he's he wrote this book. He's covered this in the New Yorker. I think he just wrote an article this past week about Tim Cotton. So, what drew you to that and to do more research on this? Is it so that to help us understand that this is a problem? Like people who maybe we're all in our own little bubbles anymore. And, oh, well, my friends aren't like this, so this is not a problem. And he's saying, uh, actually, this is a growing problem. Yeah, I'm going to try to remember to ask him that and then see what he says. it will be really interesting just to be able to talk to him. So hopefully, not just you, but other article clubbers can bring in or sort of generate questions um, for Mr. Morantz as well. All right, Katie. Okay, last question for you, which is, um, so if somebody is not Let's say somebody's a highlighter subscriber, but not Article Club yet. What would you say to them to figure out whether they should join or not? Um, it's a community of thoughtful people that are digging deep into an issue in an article and discussing it. And if you're the kind of person who likes to 
take your time reading something and like analyzing it and not just scanning it. It's a really great tool and you're not just alone reading it, but you get to hear other people's uh, thoughts on it as you're reading it and then in a live discussion. So it's a really great community. And so I think it's great. That is perfect. And like, you didn't even rehearse that. I didn't even like make you say that. <laughs> I think maybe, maybe Article Club should hire you or something. That was great. Thank you. Uh, Katie, thanks so much for doing this. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see your contribution later on this month in Article Club. And I hope that lots of other folks will join too. But thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you again, Katie, for sharing your thoughts, and thank you to everyone who is in on this month's discussion. This next week, we're going to see more reading and annotating on the shared Google Doc. Go ahead and join us. And next Sunday, we'll get to hear Mr. Morantz be interviewed for a podcast episode, giving us more detail about Samantha and her wild ride. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at mark at highlighter.cc or go to articleclub.org. Have a great week.